On the 22nd of July, me and Cherry T spent a long weekend in Margate, a seaside town in Kent. Our main reason for the visit was to go to Play Expo, which we'll be covering in a separate video, but we got up to a bunch of other hijinks too. Ah, look, it tells the time. I like most other drones. Oh, look at that. It actually went in focus for a second. Ah, oh, that looks really cool. Uh, tell the police or member or staff if you see anything suspicious, like weirdos filming the screen. This is a Sunday still service to Margate. Yay! <laughs> Always at Margate! We're in Margate! There it is! Margate! Oh. We just got out of the train station and our hotel is literally just literally over there. We had booked this lovely little B&B directly opposite the beach. Right, we just got in our hotel and we could not ask for a better view than this. <laughs> we just got the entire sea out here. We got quite lucky with which room they gave us and lovely room as well, nice big bed. And all the bits and bobs, got shared bathrooms so we have to go through another area, but this is the hotel. So many seagulls, way too many. Right, is this canon? Is this, is this part of the canon? None of it is canon. None of this is canon. There's some rubbish in there. Sorry, not in the way. Nah, you're not. <laughs> I might want you in the way. I want you in the way. There's so many seagulls. They're everywhere. Seagulls, seagulls everywhere. Yeah, it's weird how it's all just like formed into like wavy shapes where the waves have come in and it's nappy, lovely. Seagull! 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 <laughs> Sand is like corrugated card. It's your boy! There's just one thing that ruins this otherwise idyllic little uh, little seaside town and it's this shitty block of flats that's just here and it's like the tallest building in the whole area just all like, of this like lovely lovely little town and then this piece of shit You got a pony in your pocket. You got a pony in your pocket. You got a pony in your pocket, etc. Trigger warning! That is actually trigger, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I got it right this time. Join the war! We also visited Dreamland, a theme park that was only just reopened last year and is as vintage looking as you can get. We will talk about this another time though, in a future episode of Arcade Perfect. Speaking of arcades, there is a short strip of them here along the seafront, not quite as many as back in South End, and most of them are full of not much more than penny pushes and ticket redemption machines, but we did play a couple games including this miniature piano. It's like a pop of music with piano, keys, and a very bad broken English, it says Curdits instead of credits, and it started with press the start. <laughs> The song selection was interesting. You could pick between kids' nursery rhymes or pop songs, which included music from Castle in the Sky and Inuyasha, as well as the theme tune to Titanic. Angel voice? What? How was that your little song? I don't know. And the bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. Best of all, the game was only 20p to play. In fact, I put two 5p coins in it, and it still took it as a credit. Or, sorry, heard it. 
Cooking Mama. Congratulations, you passed. Ooh, you win. You win for great time. You get more cur credits. Game over. Genius pianist. Oh, that was really cute. Very good. Results will be announced. You still need. Oh no! That's the Maple Story. Um, Story. Is it? Yeah. They just stole that, did they? Yeah. Oh dear. Dolphin Star! Dolphin Star is here! Dolphin Star is here! <laughs> the best game. Declaration and attention. Declaration? Yeah, declaration. We also found this interesting looking SpongeBob Redemption game by Sega that plays a bit like a less harsh jumping jackpot. You've got to stop! Presented by Sega! Sega presents Spongebob. Like, jump on a stop button game. Ugh. Oh, that's quite clever. He's like, just his face. Wow, what a genius at jumping on things. There you go. It's getting faster now. Uh. Faster. Oh God! Oh. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I might give that a go. Yeah. yeah why not? Nice. Ah! 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 Just keep pressing that, look. Turn that off. Oh, just get out, get out. <laughs> 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 Night time, bitch. <laughs> That was a lot deeper than I expected. <laughs> Someone put a look. Way. <laughs> look at that sky. That looks lovely. It looked even nicer earlier, but we were in the arcades, so. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> Several fireballs. <laughs> it's alright when you, you're a little bit tipsy and you're walking on sand, it doesn't really make a difference. Because <laughs> it's all wonky anyway, and there's a lot of rubbish over it. Arcades are shut now. They kicked us out. Playing too much SpongeBob and they kicked us out. There's, well, they didn't kick us out, they just said it was... They were closing. They were closing. <laughs> it was like a wallpaper on your computer. In between visits to Play Expo, we also had some time to do a spot of shopping. Boris, it's back! I can't believe it's... Uh, uh. By pure luck, we managed to stumble upon this little gaming shop called Consoles for Net, which has only just recently opened. Oh, wow. I only just noticed that. <laughs> oh, wow. A massive NES thing. Not quite a uh, classic mini. <laughs> the opposite. Wow. <laughs> Hey doggy. <laughs> we walked away from there with a bunch of faff about in content. We also squeezed in time to visit the Shell Grotto. 
we're going down into a grotto of shells. I hope you like looking at shells because there's apparently a lot of them down here. It looks really cool. Oh wow. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, this is bizarre. And someone apparently just found this while digging a duck pond out or something in the 1800s and they have no idea why or what this is or how long it's been here. But yeah, shells. <laughs> someone made loads of shell art. And it's... So much, so much something that happens in the Harry movie. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all the shells. Yeah, I suppose they would have done over time. It's pretty old. They've just stuck some lights in here. Oh, yeah, I bet when they came down here, they just had to like get a bloody torch, you know, like a little fire, and just go, oh, God, what is this? <laughs> Why is this here? <laughs> huh. Oh, wow. There she come. There's actually, there's, there's actually a hole there. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's quite nice in here. It's a nice cool down from the hot weather outside. I like this bit best. Yeah, you go through. Spooky. Looks really cool. Woohoo! It's my spooky shadow. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> I was going to do shadow puppets, but it didn't work. On the Monday, we had some time to kill before our scheduled train took us back home in the afternoon. So we took a bus down to the Hornby Visitor Centre to look at some toy trains and cars. This has got to be a joke. You can get in here half price if you play this. Yeah, otherwise you're not allowed in at all. Tracy's <laughs> <laughs> trapped. Just surrounded by trains. <laughs> Here comes Thomas. Who is the... Oh, he stopped. All right, there he goes. <laughs> All of Thomas's uh, friends, like uh, James and Murdoch and Sodor Fuel Tanker. That's my favourite character, personally. There's James. Uh, reason I think Nunu from Teletubbies is in here. There he is. It's Nunu and he's blown air on us. <laughs> Spirit, Spirit of Speed 1937 in real life. <laughs> motor racing sounds record. Oh wow, so you could put this record on to get all the motor oh, wow. noises. <laughs> so you could play that next to it. Yeah, there's a virgin train. Where's the Great Angler train? <laughs> That just never moves. There we go. Whee. Oh god. It's chaos. <laughs> Get out of my way. Whee. Oh well. <laughs> I disconnected. I found that outrun car. The Testarossa. Nice big Testarossa. And that's I think this one was in the outrun too actually. Little cows and sheep. And a church that's been blown up. <laughs> Even the little gravestones have been toppled over. <laughs> it's probably what an RAF um, base would have looked like during World War II, basically. Yeah, but in cute miniature form. Look, oh, cute little destroyed house. <laughs> That's reality, though. Yeah, miniature reality. <laughs> What's going on? This one isn't a miniature at all. I feel conned. Why isn't this one teeny tiny? <laughs> It would be the biggest air campaign. I came here for miniatures. What are you doing here? <laughs> and you? You're too big. You're supposed to be tiny and cute, but you're not. <laughs> it's 
get out. I think this miniature train here is actually the one we got on to get to Margate from uh, Stratford. <laughs> A high speed. This is what we're doing with the la our last hour in Margate, sitting on the beach, burying our legs in sand and making silly holes. <laughs> You've almost completely lost your legs. You like my hole. I spent ages on it and I found a little my shell. Hole. It was made for me. It was made by me, mm -hmm. but you'll find. Yeah. <laughs> She's completely legless. Absolutely. Yeah, a bit like what we were last night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now your legs are just sand. Handy legs. <laughs> that was a bit anticlimactic. <laughs> what, just like being covered in sand? <laughs> Having legs come out of sand, we'll have to look on DVR or something. Oh no, my hole! Oh, my hole is gone! All gone. All is now gone. It is as if it was never there. Ages building it, seconds to destroy it. Is it solid? Yeah, it is. Oh. The magic of sand. <laughs> Stacy with a Mario backpack sitting in the sea or standing in the sea. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you got right in me beautiful shot. <laughs> you mug. <laughs> you muppet. You pain. <laughs> Go home, Spider Man, you're drunk. Spider Man? Uh, I'm not going to wake him up, you wake him up. See that Margate, <laughs> but you can tell it's Margate. This could be anywhere, as far as <laughs> this video is concerned. Okay, we're on our way home, and just to prove my point that Chatham is a real place in Ken and not just something out of Death Crimson. See, it's real. It's not just a level Death Crimson. 